Why don't you go over and get some water, Ariel? They're panting a lot since you came inside, honey. Same with you, Miss Nell oh, and Claire. Go get some water over in your bowls. And Layla, you're panting a lot too, my honey. We'll get some water. Nobody's gonna get up and get their water. They're just gonna sit there and pant. No more. I'm doing up some ice cubes. Lay them out on the back step. Just to get you guys something in India to hydrate you a bit. Good evening and very late in the evening. So, <laughs> I did a bit of filming earlier, as you see, not too much because Doctor's been kind of. <laughs> what was that? You're snorting like a pig. Dadger has been feeling kind of under the weather today, and I think it's because he's in this habit lately of chewing at the walls. So, yeah, there's that. So I'm guessing that upset his belly. I'm going to keep a very close eye on him, as well as keep an eye on him with chewing on the walls. I do tell him, no, 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 don't do that. But there are times if I'm busy at something else, I'll go out and look, and here he is at it again, chewing on the walls. Anybody? How are you feeling now? Yeah. And Aria has been very moody today, haven't you? Oh my goodness. No joke. She's been like... <laughs> and the thing is, she no longer... Like, she's been spayed. So, I don't know what it is with her. She's just moody duty here today. I think she didn't sleep very well last night because one of the dogs were on the move and I'm guessing it was her. But, haven't you? You've been quite uh, moody today. Yes. Oh. What are you doing, Leila? <laughs> She's such a pretty girl. They're all pretty girls, aren't you? No. They've been just kind of relaxing today, especially where Dodger hasn't been feeling well and where Ms. Ariel's been kind of all over the place emotionally. Hey, girly. <laughs> 
One minute she's fine, she's happy go lucky, wanting to play, wanting cuddles and hugs. Next minute she's like really like crooked <laughs> and upset and doesn't want no one near her and just doesn't want no one touching any of her stuff. <laughs> Kina wants to say hi. Hi Kina. Hi. Here's Miss Nella. Nope, we're watching Raya and the Last Dragon here now. Oh, a lot of my focus and attention has been on Dodger here today, just making sure he doesn't get too sicky. Dang, she already threw up today, so mommy wants to keep a close eye on you, right, my baby? Yeah, his appointment for the vet is on Thursday, so he has that coming up very soon. And I also been just keeping an eye on Ariel and just trying to comfort her and everything because she's been quite, like I said, all over the place. Hey, baby girl. What? Love you. But this is one of Claire's favorite movies. Hey, Claire. She absolutely loves this movie. I don't know what it is, if there's certain noises or colors or what, but whatever it is about Raya and The Last Dragon, Ariel likes watching it. Uh, Claire loves watching it. At the end of yesterday's video, you've seen my husband, he put this one together. It's the exact same bookshelf as the dogs used to have. I just ordered a new one because the other one he completely destroyed. So I picked this up on Amazon. My husband absolutely adores this. He, oh my goodness, he even said like, what a beautiful light for in the dog's room. It's perfect. I had three different kinds picked out and it was this one I went with and I'm glad he loves it because Anything I purchase, I love, I don't know, it just makes my heart so happy when he likes something just as much as I like it, so I'm glad about that. The Google Nest is still here. We have to get them a TV, which is going to go here. Just put a few of their little toys on the shelf for now. This is where Jersey used to sleep in the night, but that's going to go downstairs, and he is now in this one. So I got his blankets in there. He got them all bunched up. He likes to have them all pushed back. But he stays in there in the nights because Dodger sleeps in this bed and he's in here as well as Kenai sleeps in here as well. And the gate remains closed for the boys. I gotta go down that wall again. I leave Jersey a water and food dish in here because right now this is pretty much where Jersey is staying to. He comes out to do his business and everything else, but where he has been feeling well and where Dodger is still very, very hyper and silly. Hey, Dodger. Oh my goodness, that wall gotta be wiped down too. That's probably what I'm gonna do first thing tomorrow morning is wipe down all the walls. But, yeah, the dogs, they just have a lot of energy. <laughs> right, Dodger? You still very, very playful? Oh. Just for now, until he starts to come around a bit where he is not feeling good. I just feel it's better that he just stay in here with the music going, come out when he gotta use, and his food and water stay in here, and I come in and check on him and give him pets and stuff, but like I said, it's just for now, and hopefully next week, if all this week is better with him, with how he's feeling, he can come back out. Dodger stays in here in the bed, and the reason Dodger has to stay in here and have the gate closed is because... He still team pulls and he's still in training. Now he doesn't have his number two accident, but he still has one P accident throughout the nights. So he stays in here, Kenai stays in here, and Jersey stays in here, but Jersey stays in the kennel. And the reason he has to stay in the kennel with the door shut is because Dodger's still a puppy, very, very hyper and active. And just so Jersey can get a good night's rest, Dodger will get a good night's rest too because he's not steady trying to pick it, poor Jersey. Jersey just relax in the, the crate for the night, and he don't mind it. He's used to it anyway because Jersey was crate trained as a puppy, where both me and my husband were steady working. I didn't work from home like I do now, so where we both did work full-time jobs, he just, that's what he learned was crate training. But we gotta replace this heater, and hopefully my husband I'm gonna wipe this wall down tomorrow morning. 
have that all cleaned up. And hopefully my husband then tomorrow evening, if he gets a chance, if not, I'll do it. We'll touch up all this plastering work here that the dogs got tore up, or the puppies, I should say, when they were in here. And this heater definitely, definitely has to be replaced. That is the high priority for this room. Hi, buddy. Eventually we plan to redo all the drywall in here. But for now, I just, that's something, we have too much on the go. My husband has brought it up a few times to do it and tackle it, but with the amount of work we have around this house to get done, that can just stay for now. But with Jersey right now, for anyone who's wondering what's going on, he has a pamper on, he, he can't, he has zero control right now over his bladder. He just urinates all the time in it. He also has stool, so. He's bleeding blood, not all the time, but every now and then, and vomiting it, so. <sighs> yeah, we've been keeping a close eye on him. The vet, we've been keeping them updated. They know everything that's going on, so. They said what we're doing with keeping him separated from the dogs right now, just so he can relax, keep his anxiety and everything down, is the right way to do it. Especially where we have puppies in the house. And while the girls are older puppies, but <laughs> Mr. Dodge is still a little puppy. So. No, me, buddy boy. Not feeling good lately. That's okay. No, like I said, he don't mind in here. He just, I pop in to see him, bring him out when he gotta go out. And he just goes in the crates in the nights. And then in the morning hits, he's out on the move again in this room. And there's a few toys in here for him to play with. Apparently he's been playing with that one because it was on the shelf. So yeah. Hey buddy. You chewing on that bone? That's good. Go for your teeth. His ears are bugging him. He has had issues with his ears ever since he was a little tiny puppy. Hey buddy. And we've finally been able to get at his nails again. We had to actually stop for a bit, and we even notified the vet about it. But he was absolutely refusing. And this was when he, like, his health was completely going south. And we honestly thought, okay, he's probably only going to have days if weeks left. But he's slowly picking himself back up again and being one move. So I said, perfect, I can start trimming his nails again. He's not liking it, but I'm glad it's getting done again. Hey, buddy. What's she doing, Dodger? <laughs> I'm not feeling a little too big, are you, buddy boy? Let me get your favorite movies on now, anyway. These ones are your favorites, aren't they? 